This week on Morning Forum, we have the final installment on our series looking into the very serious allegation of the country's motorcycle riders of discrimination and harassment among their ranks by police and traffic enforcers. Today, we have on Modern Today's Modern Forum, Chief Superintendent Roberto Fajardo, PNP Highway Patrol Group Director, to give his insights into this issue. Hello, Chief Superintendent Fajardo, and welcome to Motoring Today. Hello, Boots, and to all the viewers of Motoring Today. In a recent interview with the country's motorcycle riders, we were apprised that their current major concern is the issue of alleged discrimination and harassment of their ranks by police and traffic authorities. Ngayon, bilang head ng PNP Highway Patrol Group, ano po ang masasabi nyo sa seryosong aligasyon na ito? Ah, to, kung meron pong mga uh, allegation na hinaharas po yung ating mga riders o ating mga motorists, ah, hindi po tinotolerate ng HPG yan. At uh, please report it to us so that oh, we can act on that complaint So we need the complainant to please come forward so that we can assist you or help you and at the same time, identify kung sino itong mga nangaharas na to para matigil kung meron man. So we need the complainant para ma-identify natin at the same time, malaman natin kung sino itong mga to. Now, one of the specific issues that was discussed was the recent crackdown by the HPG on auxiliary lights installed on some motorcycles. Ayon sa mga bikers, allowed ama ito ng LTO, ngunit maaaring hindi malinaw sa ilan sa inyong mga enforcers ang policy na ito. What do you think should be done about this seeming confusion or absence of communication between the LTO and the HPG, which is to the disadvantage of the bikers? Uh, yung HPG nyo po, eh, nag, sumusuporta lang at nag, uh, sa LTO, hindi po kami gumagalaw pag yung batas ay hindi clear. So, very clear po yung batas ng LTO at humingi sila ng support to assist them in apprehending yung mga gumagamit ng LED, mga blinkers. Kasi ito po talaga binagbabawal to. Unang una, ang authorized lang is white light or yellowish light or orange light. And bawal po yung may mga blue na kulay, lalo na yung blinkers. Bawal na bawal po yung blinkers. So, we operate based on the law that was provided for us by the LTO. Humingi po ng support yung LTO to assist them in apprehending this. Uh, LED lights na bawal, yung mga ilaw na nakakasilaw, bawal po talaga yung blinkers, lalo na yung LED lights. Kasi this can affect other drivers that can lead to accidents. So, bawal po talaga. Aside from the said lights, there's also this issue of regulating aftermarket accessories, which does not seem to have any clear rules or guidelines sa uh, pagitan ng LTO at HPG. May we have your take on this there? Ah, yung mga aftermarket accessories, hindi po namin pinapakialaman kung ano man po yung mga gadget na yan o accessories. Basta they follow kung ano yung nasa LTO rules, lalo na yung mga blinkers, mga LED lights, yung mga nakakasilaw. Talagang bawal po yun. And other gadgets po. But pag yan authorized ng LTO, hindi naman po namin tinatanggal yan at talagang uh, ino kung authorized ng LTO. So, ang aming ina-apprehend po, again, o kinokonfiscate, yung mga bawal base na rin sa LTO rules. The riders group is opting and looking forward to the possibility of working closely sa mga government agencies tulad ng LTO at HPG on clarifying or coming up with standard rules for the benefit of all concerned. How possible is this at paano po ito pwedeng gawin? Actually, ongoing na po yung ating uh, pakikipagtulungan sa ibang riders group. At ginawa pa natin silang ano, road marshals. Meron po tayong mga bikers group na nag, uh, uh, nag uh, tumutulong sa HPG. Ang tawag po nga namin dyan is mga road marshals at sila yung katulong namin sa mga drivers na uh, hindi disiplinado at sila yung 
ating eyes and ears sa mga kalsada, lalo na kung may mga aksidente. So, sa other riders, we welcome, we welcome actually itong tulong na to kasi nga, this uh, coordination and collaboration between riders, so now we will be able to make our highways safe. Ang ano lang naman dito, eh, dapat disiplina sa kalsada. So, we welcome yung coordination and cooperation with other riders group. Sin sinimula na po namin to sa last week lang, oh, may get dalawang libo yung nag uh, participate, nag take out pa sila sa Rapanit CPNP. So ongoing na po to. And they, if they want to be part of the Marshall Group sa Kalsada and to help us discipline the drivers in the road, all others riders club are mostly welcome. Thank you very much for your time, Chief Superintendent Fajardo. Bago tayo magtapos, do you have any message para sa mga riders, the public, and to your fellow traffic authorities as well? Uh, sa mga motorists, uh, alam naman po natin na traffic tala yung kalsada and mas kailangan natin ang disiplina, disiplinadong driver pag nasa kalsada, lalo na po ang motor, uh, kailangan po natin talagang disiplina kasi dalawang gulong lang yan pag nagkamali ka, aksidente. Then, we want you to be part of our uh, road marshals to help us in monitoring accidents, to help us uh, advise yung other drivers na i-report lang po sa amin yung mga drivers na hindi disiplinado o nagbabiolate ng traffic rules para po to sa ating highway to keep it as much as possible free from accident or car crash. So tulong-tulong po to hindi po namin kaya to pag kami lang. But with the other riders group helping together, working together, we'll be able to minimize road crashes and keep the highway safe for all. Thank you once again, sir. Again, thank you, Boots, and happy motoring. Mabuhay! That was Chief Superintendent Roberto Fajardo, Director of the PNP Highway Patrol Group, our guest this week on Motoring Today's Motoring Forum.